안녕하세요. Hi everyone. Hi guys, it's Ava. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be putting away photo cards and other items. I have some of the binders out in front of me. We do have a lot of 17 items, as is always the case, but I actually have, I think, a lot more non-17 album photo cards to put away. I've had these photo cards sitting in a box for a very long time now and didn't ever have a need to put them away, so yes. But I do have a lot of P1 Harmony things that I want to start getting into binders, so that's what prompted this video. Today is February 15th. It is the day after Carrot Day, so happy belated Carrot Day to all of you carrots out there. So let's go ahead and start putting away non-17 items first and then work our way through 17. All right, so here are some of the binders out in front of me. If they look unfamiliar, it's because I did transition a lot of my Beyond D A5 binders into either collect books or to different A5 binders. The only Beyond D binder that I'm using right now is for my Yua collection. I also have Luca Lab and Second Mansion items as well, and then I have these collect books. These are the photo cards for non-17 groups that I collect. We are just going to go in order, so we'll start off with Jisung of NCT. I have Jisung in this Sanrio collect book. This was part of their product release with Ducky World, which is sold in Korea. And there is a hamster because Jisung's character slash animal is a hamster. He looks like a hamster, so I chose that. Anyways, I do have his universe photo cards. I've got these three. I got them in a group order. Thank you, Kiki, as always, for supplying my NCT collection. Fortunately, collecting him for this comeback with all of NCT wasn't too painful, so there is that. I know that Dream is going to be having a comeback soon, so I'm really excited to fill out this binder with his dream photo cards. But yes, I really like this collect book. It's super cute and it's a good size actually. I like how thick it is. Next up is Sungwoo and I actually have quite a few items for him because I am finally completing his solo photo card collection. For Sungwoo, I do collect all of his solo album photo cards. And I used to be a Victon all album photo card collector as well, but I've decided that moving from here on out, not that it's really going to affect anything because he is in the military, I'm only gonna do select album uh, just because I don't love every single photo card that he has for the Victon albums. So I do have a lot of his things, but I think I'm gonna go through and then maybe decide if there's any that I don't want. Anyways, I do have his solo stuff. Uh, we are going to flip to his solo section, which I've spaced out. And then I do think I need some pages for him. Okay, I actually haven't planned his setup, so let me just take a look really quickly. Okay. I also do collect some of his non-album photo cards for solo releases. So I do have some of his like fan sign cards and other benefit ones. That is that. And then we will put these here. And then I will need another page for these items. Here are the pages that I use for his binder. These are the Second Mansion A5 photo card pages. I like how they come apart really easily and that they don't have like a tab on top. I'm actually going to put these in the front. These are photo cards from his Kino kit for the special fan meet stage that he had. And I'm just gonna put them like so. 
I love this photo card so much. He's so cute. And then I have these hollow ones. To be honest, I don't know what they're from. They're from Y. I think they misspelled it because they wrote Y Global, but I'm pretty sure it's Y Global. Huh. <laughs> Wait, do they all say that? Oh my God, that is really funny. Yeah, it's Y G M Y Global Music. That is so funny. Oh my God, I can't believe they messed up. Oh boy. Well, that's okay. The backs are going to be covered, so we'll be none the wiser. <laughs> All right, so that is it for Sungwoo. His binder is like quite full, but I guess the good thing is that he is not in Victon's most recent comeback, so I don't have to collect him uh, because I think I'd probably have to start a second binder. All right, next up is Yua. I just have one photo card for her. And that is her last Dun Dun Dance photo card that I need. You go, where you go, you go right here. Ta-da! Super cute. For you as Binder, I still have her in the Beyond D pages. I don't know if I'm gonna take her out of them. I've just been lazy, so um, I think I might just leave her in there because I don't really take her photo cards in and out of their pocket so much. So yes. That is Yua, she is all set. Moving things right along, we get to Stacy. I have a little collect book for Stacy. I collect Isa, but for this comeback, I also decided to keep some of Jay and Yoon's photo cards. I have kept Yoon's before. I kept her sunglasses one because I thought that was really pretty. But for this comeback, Jay just really wrecked me with her blonde hair. And I don't know, I've always been a Jay fan. She was actually one of the people in the beginning that I was considering being my bias before I settled on Isa. So I do have some photo cards of those two members as well, but I actually have the last Isa photo card that I need, which is very exciting because they're coming back soon. So we can repeat this whole process over again. Anyways, this is my Stacey Collect book. She is all done. And then we get to the bulk of this pile, which is P1 Harmony. I have so many P1 Harmony photo cards. So a lot of these are obviously their most recent comeback, but I do have some of their season's greetings, trading cards as well. Let me put actually back in this box because they're sliding all over the place. My P1 Harmony collection is stored in this binder right over here. This is a composition book styled binder. It's from Luca Lab. So I keep everybody in this binder. I have Diung in the front. He is the main member that I collect. He's my bias. And then I have Teo and Intak in the back. So we are going to put away Jiung's photo cards. We're gonna start on this page. I do store him back to back, so I'm going to be doing that. Okay, so we will start off with his season's greetings training cards, photo cards. These are super cute. I was so happy when they announced this because I'm a big fan. Maybe I will do this. I'll do this for now. I don't know what I'm going to do about the missing slot. Maybe I'll put in a filler, but there's just like not an even amount of these photo cards to fill up eight pockets. And then on this side, we will do this. His bright, bright turquoise here sticks out so much like a sore thumb. He does look very good in this color though. I was not expecting it, but he looks very good. Oh my God, he's so cute. Yay, I love these photo cards. Okay, and then moving on, now we get to his album photo cards. So I have made a lot of headway in P1 Harmony. They've been having nonstop fan calls and other things because there's so many non-album photo cards I do collect Doom non-album, but I'm selective, so I don't get absolutely everything, just the ones that I think are cute. These are all the non-album photo cards that I have so far. And this doesn't even include all the group orders that I've joined and other purchases that I've made. So here we are going to put the unit cards for this comeback. FNC decided to do a lot of unit cards for Lucky Draws. I have some from FNC, I have them from Apple Music, and then I also have Music Art, which I'm going to put here because there is one unit with Zyung and there's also a group card, so I'll put those two photo cards in these spots. 
And then I've got just like miscellaneous lucky draw slash fan sign photo cards. Let me see, there are so many, it's actually ridiculous. I was actually looking at a template the other day and I didn't realize just because I don't follow P1 Harmony's like fan sign events and schedules a lot, but they've had nine or they will have had nine fan signs through Apple Music, which is insane. It also means that there are nine Apple Music fanzine photo cards to collect if you collect them all fully, which I don't, thank God. All right, and then here are these photo cards that I've bunched together. I think they're so cute. I really like this outfit and the makeup that he has on. If you can't tell, his eyebrows I don't know that they're dyed. I think they might have used makeup maybe, um, but he also has on this pink blush and his hair is so so bright and it looks really good with his outfit cute i'm leaving that blank because i know i have one slash many other photo cards coming in that have him in that outfit and then here i'm going to put this one i think this is the k-town and then we have two lucky draw polaroid photo cards so that is that i am gonna need more pages for him and then we get to the album photo cards there are six album photo cards in total. We will just put them by the version of the album. So we'll start off with, I don't actually know the versions. We'll start off with this one. This is the white back, right? Yeah. I think this photo card's so cute. Obviously as a Hoshi lover, it makes me so happy. That's perfect, and then we will use this page. And then I'm sure I'll rearrange things as I get other photo cards. So that is my Ziyoung section, and with that we are gonna move on to the other members. I have this photo card from forever ago. I got this in, I don't know, maybe four or five months ago, but I just haven't put it away yet. This is the last Teo photo card that I need. It is obviously from Breakout Era. I've just had it for a long time, and finally it's in, it's here, and I am done with that collection, my goodness. So we flip through. I have it formatted so that Teo is on top, and then Intak is in the bottom. And I just did that because of age. So. This kind of complicates things because for the season's greetings of photo cards, I did collect some of Kyo's photo cards, and then I have one random Zong sub in here as well. That is because the photo cards were so, so cute, so I had to do it. I think I'm just gonna arrange these by age order because I don't really know what else to do. So yes, we will do that. I will start off by putting Kiho, and then we'll work our way through. Kiho is so cute. If I collected a fourth member of P1 Harmony, it would be Kiho, but I cannot do that to myself because that is just ludicrous. I'm gonna put Teo in here. I do wanna collect more of Teo's trading cards. He is a harder member to get, so I don't know if that'll be realistic, but I'll leave one slot open. And then I'll put these two of Intak. I also really want the photo card where Intak is doing a tiger hand pose as well. So we'll see. And then these are all Polaroid style photo cards. So. I'll also just do it by age order. And then I have one random one of Dosa. The Polaroids are so cute, and the cards are really well made. They're like a very thick cardboard. These to go in here, ta-da, 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 perfect. Okay, very, very happy about that. And that ends that section. And now we can get on to album photo cards. <laughs> I also collect non-album for Intak and Teo. Actually, let me do it so that we do album first. Okay. So we'll do this. And then we'll leave those spots blank. And then we'll do the black version. And then the purple. So those are the 
album photo cards. And then we get two non-album, which I have so many of, my goodness. My goodness, okay. Well, let's do that. And then just kind of randomly sort them, I guess. I like the low stress that comes with four pocket pages and organizing your photo cards. I may or may not rearrange this in my own time, but I definitely don't feel a pressure to have everything as planned out as I do when it comes to like my nine pocket pages. These are the music art ones, and then these are the JJ Muse. One is like hollow, and then the other is like a shattered hollow. The JJ Muse ones are a little bit smaller than the normal photo card. I don't know if you can really tell. But I love the one of Intaki. It's so cute and I love the sweater. Okay. And then we get to these. So I will put them like so. Does that work? Yes, that works. Speaking of P1 Harmony, I'm going to be going to their concert in March when they come to San Jose, and I am so stinking excited. This will be my first post, well, it's not really post because it's still ongoing, but this will be my first concert in COVID times, which is very exciting. The Polaroid Lucky Draw photo cards are from FNC and Apple Music, but I cannot tell you which one is which. I don't remember. Teehee. Okay. And then we have some like unit photo cards. So I have two with Teo and only one with Intak because the other one of Intak has Dune in it and I put it in Dune section. But this is FNC and then this was Apple Music. So ta-da! And that is it for this binder. Holy moly, it is quite thick. Holy mackerel! Okay, well... I guess that's how it goes when you collect three members. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a big fan of this binder. I really like it. So this is what it looks like. Very nice, super sturdy. And that is all for the non-17 groups. So with that, we can go ahead and move on to 17. Oof. Okay, so let's get 17 out of the way first. I have two sets, I believe, of various photo cards to put away into my OT13 binder. Okay, am I in frame? I am. This is my non-Korean album OT13 binder. And in the front, I do have a section for Japanese releases. I don't typically collect OT13 Japanese things, but I did do one set for Hitori Jinai, so I do have that. And then now I will also have one set for the regular edition Aino Chikara, as well as the Universal Music Japan benefit photo cards. They came with all 13 if you bought a set, so I did. And yes, I'm really, really happy to have this set. I think these photo cards are stunning and I love all the outfit choices that they had for Aino Chikara. I do need one more set of pages though. So I have my Guardhouse Shield pages. This is a new brand of A4 pages that I'm using. I made a switch from Ultra Pro Platinum to these, and I could not be happier. Okay, so let's just go ahead and store these. Okay. I wasn't really sure how I felt about the all white, like winter wonderland concept in the beginning, but I've really grown to like it. It's very like magical and like very Christmassy, which was the whole point of Aino Chikara. I do kind of wish that they had done a little bit more with the poses slash photographs. I feel like they could have really gone all out on this winter wonderland fantasy concept and it would have been really, really cute. I will say props though to Minghao's ginormous fluffy hat. Super cute. I think June looks amazing in these photos, and so does Uzi. I love this Wuahei picture so much. Big fan of like the fur elements that they incorporated. I do wish that they were like smiling or holding props or something. I feel like that would have been really, really cool. 
so cute. And then we have Sungwon, who is the most adorable person in the world. And, oh my god, Dina looks so good. Okay, now we get on to the other concept that I know Chikata had. This is like their more natural, cozy winter sweaters and yarn concept. They just have a lot of ginormous yarn balls. I can only imagine how long it must have taken to make this. So props to the props director or coordinator, whoever that is. One of my favorite trope photo cards of all time. I love that little hat he's wearing. And if I could steal Jungan's sweater, I totally would. We have a tennis ball. June, his headband is the exact same color and material as a tennis ball, I swear to God. Wanu. Oh my God, and I love, love this boozy picture as well. Mingyu definitely wins for the like softest looking i don't even think it's a sweater i think it's just like a yarn blanket that he's posing with in a lot of these photos and i would also steal super cute oh that's out of order good job ava <laughs> and then we get on to the other members oh my god someone in glasses I really like this. I wanted to say wallpaper, but it's not even wallpaper. It's like a blanket, I think, that they had hanging in the background. And I like how it actually lines up in here so that all these three members have it. So yes, super, super cute. And that is it for my OT13 binder. So with that, we can move on to the other collections. Here are my collect books for DK Vernon Minghao. As I was prepping for this video, I realized that I am running dangerously close to being out of space. I actually think I might be out of space um, for my DK collection. And then Minghao, I had to start another binder for him because I'm also out of space. I guess this means I have to invest in new collect books or other binders, so... That's just great. <laughs> um, I will be working on that, I guess, in the future. Anyways, I have photo cards for these three members in front of me. We've got photo cards here. I did place a Mercari order, so I do have things from that. And then also just from Ainochikara for Dokyam. So we're gonna start off with Vernon, who is the only member that's still comfortably in one binder. This is Vernon. I have just a few cards for him, including this one right over here, which I have been waiting to get my hands on for the longest time, but was waiting for a good price. This is one of his teenage cards. It is the white version. He's gonna go in right in the front with Vernon's other teenage card. Don't mind me, just struggling. Here we go. And I also left spots for where I wanted to put these. So I have these two photo cards here. These are both HMV photo cards. One is from Fallen Flower, and then the other is the round two, maybe round three, thanks campaign photo cards for Hengare. I think it's hysterical that he's holding a bottle of lemon juice. That is that for this page. And then where did I want to put the other one? I don't remember. Okay. And then this photo card will go right in this slot. Again, I don't really have his binder arranged in any particular order. It's not chronological. It's just kind of based on like themes and then just wherever I feel like it. So that is Vernon. He is all set. Now we move on to Minghao. So Minghao has definitely maxed out on this binder. I actually do have another collect book for him that I moved some photo cards into, but I think these will all fit into here. We have these photo cards for him. And oh my God, it's so loud, I'm sorry. Let's see if we can't just... Okay, we're back. Anyways, I have these photo cards for Minghao and I've already decided where I'm going to put them. So let's do that. This is just me searching for empty slots and trying to remember if that's a slot that I wanted. Yes, okay. So I'm going to put this fan sign photo card from Hengere era into this pocket right over here. 
This is, I don't remember which store this is from, but it's gonna go in here <laughs> along with another one of his Korean fan sign photo cards. And then on this section, we're going to put this here because he's wearing the same outfit. I think this might've been MTU, but I'm not positive. Super, super cute. On this page, I've got quite a few. This is a fan sign photo card that I've been searching for for the longest time, and I finally found it for such a good deal, so I'm very excited. Let's put him like that. This is whoop, one of his album photo cards, and I'm deciding to put it here, and then we have another fan sign photo card as well. Oh my god, he's so cute. I loved Ming Hao's photos from Hangaray Era. I think he looks so good. And then in this slot, we're going to put this pajama fan cafe card from Japan. Whoop. And he is all done in this binder. So this binder is completely maxed out. There are no open slots, but I do have a, another mini collect book that I'm using for him for now. So we'll see if I... Decided to make any changes. Yeah, this is really exciting. I wasn't expecting my collect books for these members to fill up as quickly as they did, but 17 does have a lot of photo cards, so just kind of how it is, I guess. And then next up is Lee Suk Min. And I have both of his collect books out in front of me because some of these will be going in his old collect book, which I don't use as much anymore because it's mostly filled. For this one, I have these cards, and I've been waiting for this broadcast card for the longest time to put him in his rightful spot, which is right over here. I love this outfit for him. He looks so good. And then I just have some of these photo cards, which are from an ode that I'm gonna use to fill in these spots. Perfect, super cute. And then he is all filled and we can move on to this binder. I do think that for DK's and next binder, I'm going to use an A5 binder and I'm going to decide how I want to fill it in. But um, that will be a future video. I have just enough spots. I'm going to stick these <laughs> photo cards in here. These are gonna be so out of place. They're from Going 17 era, which is a long time ago, but I don't feel like rearranging everything. So they're gonna go here. And then I also have this extra, an ode photo card. On this page, we're gonna put his Aino Chikara items. He is very, very cute and handsome in his white suit. This is the benefit photo card for Weverse, and then this is Universal Music Japan. So yay, we are all done with DK. All right, next up is Carrot Land. We are finally going to finish Carrot Land. It has been a long, long time since Carrot Land. I have the last two unit cards that I need. We're just going to flip and find them. So first up is Dino and June. Perfect. Oh my god, I am so ecstatic to be done with this collection and never have to think about it again. And then here we have Wanu and Vernon. So yay! Everything is done. Everything is completed. This Carrot Land collection felt a lot harder and I felt like it took a lot longer than my previous Carrot Land collection. I don't know why. I feel like maybe just because I wasn't as actively pursuing finishing this, but very happy that it's done. I do love Carrot Land. I don't know that I'll be collecting Carrot Land fully in the future again. We'll see. I really do love having a full collection set for it because it is special. It is, you know, meant for carrots. But the photo cards this time around weren't as fun as they have been before in the past, so I don't really know. They also had a lot of them, and if they keep on expanding the way that they do, I don't know if I want to necessarily collect like a hundred and something photo cards. But yes, Carrot Land 2021 is all done. Moving on to Hoshi. So I am going to put away his... I know Chikara album photo cards in his album binder. 
that section is all the way in the back. So let's just flip on through. This is his Japanese album section. And for Aino Chikara, we do not have a page yet, so let's put that in. I'm going to start off with one. I might need a second one because they're doing thanks campaign photo cards, so that will have to go in there at some point. And then they also have these like trading cards from a pop-up store that they held, which fit the theme of Aino Shikara, so they also might go on this page. But for now, we'll just stick with one because it works. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'll just go in order. So we'll start off with his regular album photo card right over here. Next up is his limited version photo card, carrot version. And then we have some of his benefit photo cards. So we have Weverse, HMV, and Universal Music. Ta-da! So that is that page. I also have these larger items for him that are gonna go in the back right over here. Um, <laughs> oh my god, they're still landscaping. They've been landscaping all day. I don't know what they're landscaping. This is just gonna go here because I don't have a better spot to put him. And then these, fortunately, will fit quite well. We're gonna put these pop-up store photo cards, photo cards, postcards in these slots. And then this is his like sticker thingy that came with the regular album. And then I also have the group one, so that's gonna go here. So yay, ta-da, nice and easy, fits very, very well. We do have just a handful of things for his other binder, so let's do that. And I also just realized that I have not put away these Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, thanks messages cards for the other members. So we'll go back to my OT13 binder in just a moment to put these away too. This is my other Hoshi binder. As you can maybe tell, things have changed quite a bit. I have these three items to put away. Okay. Um, so first off will be his broadcast card, which is gonna go here, and it will complete this nine pocket page. Super exciting. I am gonna have to modify this and I think I'll probably move his thanks card somewhere else because I do have another broadcast card coming in pretty soon. But for now, this is so pleasing. I always love it when cards are able to fill out a nine pocket page. Next up is his Japanese fan cafe card. Where do you go, where do you go? Oh, I think you're in my other binder. Nope, you're here. Okay, ever since I've reorganized these binders, I am like, where did I stick that? So this photo card actually goes here. And then this one will need its own page. But I'm going to put him here for now. Teehee. And then we'll just get back to it when I get the other one so it won't be alone on one single page. And then I also have this, which is the hanging door tag thing that came with their season's greetings. I wasn't going to collect it because it's not a photo card and it's like kind of whatever, but I found it for a really good deal on Mercari Japan. So here we are. Anyways, where am I looking? Oh, I can't keep track of my Hoshi items. Okay, so here are his season's greetings things. And will this fit here? Oh my god, will it fit? Oh, it won't fit if I keep it in the sleeve, but if I take it out. Oh my god, what a revelation. It fits perfectly. And then the sticker I can just like stick back here somewhere. The random inclusions that they put for Season's Greetings always makes me laugh. Okay, so that's exciting. Okay, so we are all set with this binder. And then we'll just backtrack and go back to OT13. 
Okay, so for Aino Chikara, they did have these like Merry Christmas messages for the regular version of the album. They are obviously larger than a normal photo card, but they're not like postcard size either. Um, they're kind of like this in between mini card size. And then on the back are messages that they wrote in Japanese, of course, to carrots that I do not understand, but we are going to put them in this section. I'm gonna put them in these four pocket pages from Ultra Pro. And I'm actually going to leave the backs visible because there are messages. Sometimes I will store these double-sided. This Joshua one is so cute. And I really love the Zonon one as well. I'm really intrigued by their decision to like have these colors for the backgrounds because they're so bright. The yellow one I can kind of see, but the green ones are like lime green and are very confusing to me. This one of Mingyu is so pretty. Oh my God. Look at Gyu and Woozy matching with the flowers. These are really stunning photos. I kind of wish that they were photo card size, but I guess it's nice that they're a little bit bigger so you can see all the details. And that is it. So that marks the end of this storing photo card video. I do have plans to film the binder collection tomorrow morning. Finally, it's been a really long time since I did my last one. I think it's been probably more than a year and there have been obviously huge changes. So yes, anyways, thank you for watching this. I hope you guys are all having a good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. あ、ちょっと待って。あ、ちょっと待って。あ、ちょっと待って。あ、ちょっと待って。あ、ちょっと待って。あ、ちょっと待って。あ、ちょっと待って。あ、ちょっと待って。あ、ちょっと待って。あ